All right, boys and girls, so I need your help with a problem today. Can you get out a whiteboard or a sheet of paper? Because you're going to need to help me draw today. So right here, this is a little girl, and she has a pizza. What shape is this pizza? It's a circle. And she has the entire pizza, and she's really hungry, and so she could eat it all by herself. So the little girl could eat the whole pizza, right? This is one whole. Well, let's say that her friend comes over, okay? Can you show me how they should cut the pizza so that both of them have equal parts? Go ahead and draw the circle on your sheet of paper or whiteboard, and then draw to show me how you would um, split it so they could have equal parts of the pizza. could split it straight down the middle just like that and so now does this look like it would be fair if I were to give each piece to them yeah they're about the same size so what did I just partition my pizza into I partitioned it into halves remember learning about halves yesterday and now the little girl can get one half, and the little boy can eat another half, okay? Well, what if they cut it in halves like this, but then two more friends came? Now how many um, children are there? There are four children. So now how could they cut this pizza so that all four of the children can have an equal piece? Can you draw on your circle to show how many or how they could partition this into four equal parts? Would it be fair if I already have two pieces, what if I cut these two pieces in half? Right here and right here. Does this show four equal parts and pieces of pizza? No. These pieces are, these two pieces are bigger than these pieces, so that's not a way. We could split each of our halves in half this way now. Let's see. So now I drew a line down the middle. Do I have four equal parts now? Yes, I do. So I split this pizza into fourths, and fourths are four equal parts of a shape, okay? And today we are going to be exploring all about fourths. Whenever we take, so yesterday we took our halves and we talked about halves. Today we're gonna to be talking about fourths. So go ahead and get out your journal from yesterday and a pencil and some crayons. Just like we wrote about our holes and halves yesterday, we are going to be writing and talking about fourths today. So yesterday in our journal, we talked about whole shapes, which means the entire shape. Just like the kids started out with a whole pizza, well, they had to split them into equal parts to share. Well, when you split them into two equal parts, we call them halves. Do you remember that from yesterday? Halves. And we know that two halves equals one whole. And if we have just one equal part out of two, that is called one half. Well, today we are going to talk about even more parts with our fourths. So we can go to our next clean page. And let's write today's date, which is 4-6-21. Okay, and let's go up here and let's write fourths. Remember, the word fourths has 
four in it. because it's four equal parts. So underneath fourths, let's write four equal parts. Okay, now what I want us to do is I want us to draw one whole square. And let's partition it into four equal parts. This is an example of fourths. One, two, three, four equal parts. We could draw a circle, just like we did earlier, to help us remember. And we could make that one into fourths. We could even do a triangle. Triangles can be kind of tricky. Like this. Okay, so now below, we're going to have to draw four shapes, okay? I want you to draw a square. And I want you to partition it into four equal parts. Then, I want you to color in one of those parts. Only one. So now I, my, I have four parts, but only one of them is colored in. So the way that I would describe this is one fourth. Can you guys say one fourth? Great job. One fourth means one out of all four is filled in. So next to it, let's write one, we'll write the word one actually, one fourth. This represents one fourth. All right, well now let's go down. Let's draw another square. Let's partition it into two, or sorry, into four equal parts. And now I want you to color in two parts of the square. One, two. How do you think I would describe this using my words? If this was one fourth, what would this be? If you said two fourths, you are correct. This is an example of two fourths. Go ahead and write that down. Two fourths. Do you notice anything about two-fourths being colored in? Do you see another fraction we've learned? Two-fourths is the same as one-half. This is one-half of the square. Let's draw another square. You guys are doing a great job. Partition it into four equal parts. And now I want you to color in three of the squares. One, two, three.
how would I describe this fraction? How many parts are colored in? Three-fourths. If you said three-fourths, you are correct. Three-fourths. And then one more. We're going to draw another square. And now I want you to color in the whole square, all four parts. And how would I describe this square? One, two, three, four parts is four fourths. Four fourths. And if all four of them are filled in, four fourths is the same as one whole. The whole square is filled in. Four fourths equals one whole. So I know that was a lot of writing, but um, this is something that is super important, being able to identify the parts of the um, fourths that are being colored in. One fourth, two fourths, three fourths, and four fourths. So go ahead and write all this down, and then we're going to do um, an activity with halves and fourths.